Hi, hey, what YouTube, what's up? Um, I'll make a quick video about mm, this TI-83 calculator. Just got it, and it's been doing wonders for me, especially in math. I know it's been a while since I made a video and stuff, so, so whatever. So I want to make a video right quick about this calculator. And, and y'all probably wondering too, what does this have to do with like computers and stuff? Well. If you want to major in computer science and you, you do matrices and stuff, I, I bet you, you, you're definitely going to be using this. So, the way you do matrices, you hit, you hit, put on the calculator, and you hit second, and then you hit um, X1. But on top of this, you can't really see it, but on the top of this X1, it says matrices. Right here. So you hit that, and this, this thing shows up. It says names and all that good stuff so what you do you go in the arrows and you go to edit and it says one and it says a and that's the first matrices box so then you put in the the rows of matrices like you put in the row the numbers and then when you're done putting in those numbers and stuff you just keep on hitting enter 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 I'm gonna just keep on hitting enter but you gotta put them in you done putting these in, you hit second key, and then you hit mode, and on top of mode is quit, but you, that's basically quitting. Hit the quit button, and you go back, and then you hit shift again, you hit the second button, which is shift, and then you, you hit math, I mean x1, x to, the, x to the negative first power, which is 1 over x to the first power, which is the matrices button, which says matrix. And you get the matrix row again, and you go back to edit. Sorry, you hit and then you hit enter. And then you you this time you're on B or whatever. Oh hold up, sorry. Let me go back right quick. I didn't do it right. But basically hold up. Hold up. Shift quit. Shift matrix. X one. Alright, yeah. So you hit the row, you scroll back down to edit, and then this time you go to the second one, which is B. Which is in the second row right there, number two, which is B, and you hit enter button, and then you put in the number of rows. I don't think I mentioned that before, but yeah, you got to put in the number of rows. And since there's like there's like three rows, which is like one, two, three rows. The first one you put in is three because it's like three rows going down, so you put in three, and then across there's two rows going across. So you know, so I put in like two. There's only two rows going across. There's one row here, and then there's another row there. Hit enter. And then you put in the numbers. You just punch in the numbers where they are on the paper and stuff. You just keep, I just keep on hitting enter because I already have them in. And then, if you want to, alright, and then you hit second and then quit. And now, if you want to multiply the matrices, you go back to sh shift matrix. And now you have number A. A is already programmed and B is in program. So you hit, you put it on A and then you hit enter. And then it shows like A, and then you hit the multiply sign, which is right here. And then it says A multiply, and then you hit shift, shift quit, and shift matrix. And then you hit B, you go back down, and then you go on B this time when you get in the matrices. But make sure it's on names, it's not on edit. Make sure I didn't mention that before when I started doing the multiplication, but it has to be on names, not edit, because we're not. Doing, you're not you're not plugging you're not programming the matrices, you're multiplying them now because they're already programmed. Hit enter, and now it says A by B by B A by B. Sorry, and then you hit the enter button, and that's that's how you multiply the matrices and stuff, and that's how you basically you you know you cheat with matrices instead of doing them by hand. I basically use the TI-83. So, I mean, basically, you, you you could program it. Basically, the complicated part is programming it, but you can multiply if you want to. You could divide. Uh, I'm not, I think you could subtract matrices. You could add matrices. All you got to do is just plug them in first to learn how to program in, program in using the, the matrix button, the shift matrix button, and going to edit and programming them in. And if you, and if you understand how to program in, program the the matrices in, all you got to do is just you know put hit you know put in A then hit plus minus, add whatever. The reason I'm talking fast is my my bound my things about to run out, 
and, and um basically yeah you multiply you get add multiply add whatever so that's how you do matrices on the TI 83 plus and that's uh, my first video on the TI 83 I'll make another video on the TI 83 probably later on but that's how you do it and uh, thank you for watching and hope y'all learned something out there peace